plugs in here. We're going to configure together um, the Stripe settings in the um, in our super admin and with the demo account, I have it here. We're going to use the clearly show shell. So um, let's do that. Uh, hi, Tarsin. Hi. That's okay. So uh, just in this call, we will just do the steps. What, uh, what are all the things when people sign up from the Stripe? What are all the things they need it uh, to put it into the super admin panel? Okay, so um, so you guys are asking keys, publishable key, secret key, connect client ID, webhook secret, and the account types as well. Um, I will explain uh, later what's each of these things. So for now, we're just gonna um, do the informations. Okay, um, so where can I get the publishable key? This one. Yeah. Okay. So so when once uh, once everybody signs up. What you're gonna do is that you will you will see in this front page. In the front page, yes, they are showing uh, showing the uh, keys as well. Um, so for now, um, I'm gonna create a new keys. So just go to the API key. Hasin, um, I can delete this key after we finish this video, yeah? Um, yes. Uh... But, but if you delete it, you know, uh, the app is not going to work. You have to okay. retain it. Okay, thank, okay, sorry. Actually, we can use the test data, I just realized. Yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm in the test data now. So I can just copy this first. Um, okay, publishable key. Um, just double check. Okay, this is a publishable key. Uh, then secret key. Yeah. Um, it's down. Okay, so I can copy this secret key. Uh, connect client ID. Where I will be able to get this? So you'll have to go to the settings in the left menu. Okay. And, and then you see uh, on the right side there is a connect column. There you will see a settings uh, link, and once you go into the connect settings, uh -huh. scroll, scroll down uh, in the integration section, you will find uh, client ID. All right, and then this one. This should come from the Stripe or from our system. Uh, which one? The webhook secret. Uh, secret? Yeah, we'll have to configure this under the developers uh, so menu. Go to developers menu. Uh, yeah. Then the cooks. Yeah, the cooks on the yeah top right. You see add endpoint. Right. Yeah. So you'll have to enter the, the endpoint URL. Uh huh. What's the URL? So. Just a minute. You see here, even stuck. Calcium still need to think about those things. So if you are stuck, don't worry. Um, I will add an another. I will share you in a documentation link as well. In the documentation link, you will be able to find it step by step. In case if the video is still not clear to you. Yeah. And uh, in the events, we'll have to select payment. Uh, okay. Payment intent uh, succeeded. Yeah. Payment has succeeded. That's it. Uh, that's it. Uh, as for the endpoint URL, we'll, we'll be adding it in the documentation so it will be more clear. Um, do you have it now? Because I would like to like show a uh, test. Yeah. So yeah. the chat for you. All right. I'm going to stop um, and, and copy the URL and then come back. All right, I have got the endpoints from Talsin. Um I don't want to open the chat, um, that's why. Um, so the app name, you see here, this app name, if it's if you're running a course setup, then it's your name. The name should be, the example we are using is EduTech. Whatever the app name you use it, this is like an, uh, like an ID. We use it for everything. So better use the same thing everywhere, okay? All right, 
so the um, payment intent one which we need to payment intent succeeded which one this is the one so add so when I say added I got this signing secret so what we are asking here is a webhook secret let me just save this so let's go away all right uh, for, we are still fixing this issue for now it's better to save all right uh, good secret and then um, there is account type standard and express um, I'm not going to explain what is the difference between a standard and express if you would like just like search stripe standard and express they will explain you what is the difference between both of these things uh, both of uh, these but we our recommendation is always use um, express it's, it's very um, it has lots of, uh, of uh, I mean advanced thing um, then I'm gonna exit this payment because uh, I want to show you something under this payment page this is where I oh, don't have a store okay, um, because your tutors need to have a store and when they make money they need to receive the uh, money so how are they gonna receive the money they're gonna receive the money from stripe because stripe provides the the payments from the buyers and then payouts to the sellers that's why why we are configuring the stripe thing so you see here um, when I click uh, connect with the stripe it will work but let me just make sure it, I saved everything yeah and you see here there is like a field for you to change the message you can find like a default message if you want to change something um, I'm gonna put like lorem option because that's lorem option discount it's easy for me um, I'm gonna go here I think I need to close the app or something but anyway our main job is now to test the stripe so if you are for your seller take issues um Carcina, you see here do we need to configure anything for the or do I need to like close the app and come back I think we should have, we should have to kill the app and come back and try again Oh, great. So, Lorem Opsum, you can change the text. Um, still, is there something we need to configure in the backend? Because it still says tech issues. Saved it actually. Just to summarize, I have copied the publishable secret and everything. Just a minute. Yeah. So, while Tarsin is checking, uh, what we can do is that. So, um, where is the toolkit? Um, yeah, our focus is now on still the Stripe payments. Um, and for let's say if you are like a B2C player where you do not uh, have like a sellers and all those things, it's not going to make sense for you to have things like um, yeah, only after Stripe is connected, then I will show you. Uh, but it's fine. Uh, I want to show you something but it's not available in the menu because uh, the connect once stripe connection is done then that thing will be um, um, then that thing will show up here but anyway that is in how about if I can I just go and make purchase it should work yeah um, yes you can try yeah All right. um, so G case I just need to log out yeah um, in the cart, the item I just added should be there. For example, which is oh no, I'm in the I'm 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 the I'm the tutor now. So I need to be what I want to test is I want to test the purchase. So what I need is that I need to sign up my account, Sara for two to make a purchase. The Rosa, we want to buy the recent cultural. Yeah, see here, it still shows go to cart because I already added the item to the cart. Um, I wanted to show you something in the stripe where, if you remember, we have applied like some 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 settings here. I mean, where you can control how much is the maximum purchase people can 
make on a checkout how much is the minimum purchase that, that was the like the checkout uh, ruling I was mentioning before uh, I want to show that but let, let's let's try to purchase go to cart yeah shipping um, keep it place I'll go to restaurants okay it works why it's because we have configured the help from Tarsin. Uh, Tarsin, what's the um, expiry uh, for the any any numbers? Is it any future date? Yeah. So, uh, CV, uh, CVC is uh, one zero zero. One zero zero. Zip code. I think I'll just put this six zero zero. It's the easy one. All right. So I added the card. This is a test account. Yeah. Don't need to worry. If I pay now, it should show an error. Uh, that's in this uh, maximum amount is for the checkout ruling yeah? or, or this is for something else uh, this is for the um, maximum amount uh, you know you can configure this maximum amount so that you know the cart uh, should not exceed this value and also the minimum amount I see so so maybe I'm not using the latest code that's why the the, the rules are not applied here huh? Okay, so once I add it, um, I mean once I uh, bought uh, bought the scores or something, I can um, see the course details. And if I want to cancel the order, I can cancel. But there are like some 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 uh, order status which may not be applicable for a uh, uh, education marketplace. We can deactivate those things for you. And if you want to chat with the course, I can chat. Let's show you quickly. So so by this video, we have uh, covered configuring the Stripe. And uh, how you can make purchases um, that should be our goal other than that if you want to make continue purchase and anyone like try something you can do so yeah so the stripe configuration is done so in the next video what we're gonna see is that um, the email and the domain I have already explained in the very first video um, we can think about maybe firebase the branch there is another video which explained about how to the benefits of branch and how to configure that app um, so the next video most pr uh, probably we will just go into the look and feel of the app. Thank you.